Wow, I just saw an airplane cross the sun there. And observing the transit of Venus. I'm assuming that was an airplane that went past. It's about uh, 7.30, a little before 7.30 on the 5th of June 2012 in Bartlett, Tennessee. We've been observing the transit of Venus across the face of the sun for the last uh, two hours. It started at uh, nine minutes after five. It's cool to also contemplate the sunspots as we watch Venus. And picture Venus, again, slightly smaller than the Earth at 7,600 miles in diameter, Earth being 7,900 miles in diameter. Venus is 67 million miles from the Sun. Earth is 93 million miles from the Sun. So right now there's only about 26 million miles between the two. So Venus is the closest celestial object to the Earth after the Moon. When it passes between the Earth and the um, Sun, as it's doing right now. And again, the transit method is what the uh, Kepler space probe uses to uh, look for uh, for uh, planets around other stars, it measures the uh, the dip in the light as planets pass in front of other stars. So theoretically, if, uh, if there were an alien solar system lined up just right, it could be watching the Earth and Venus transit the Sun at this time, as we're both lined up almost perfectly. And this is the last time we're going to see this until uh, 2117. So, this is really a very, very cool astronomical event. We've had a, a wonderful day for viewing. The breeze here, it hasn't been hot, no bugs. It's been just fabulous for observing. Again, using our uh, black polymer filter with the Celestron 8-inch reflecting telescope. And, uh, and another cool thing about this astronomical event is that uh, it's, it lasts long enough to really get a good look at it. So we're very grateful for the opportunity and thankful and we thank you for watching.